Interior, living room, day. An old and dingy one-bedroom flat. Wood floors, paint peeling off the walls. The place is cold and lonely. Slow zoom in to the back of a young woman's head. She sits at a desk in front of a computer screen. She's in her own world, deep in thought. A woman's voice hums the score to La Java Bleu. Interior, living room, day. A pair of eyes. They belong to Marietta, the same woman at the desk. Her hair is disheveled, dark circles under her eyes. She hasn't slept in days. She kneels on the floor, cushioned between the couch and coffee table. All of her attention is on a ladybug that crawls on her finger. She hums La Java Bleu. Interior, foyer, day. The landline phone rings. Interior, living room, day. Marietta ignores the phone. She places the ladybug inside a drinking glass. She turns the glass upside down on the coffee table, trapping the bug. The answering machine beeps. A male voice belonging to her agent leaves a message. Marietta, remember me? I'm the guy that gets your books on the stands. Oh, yeah, and food on your table? Listen, I'd be worried if I knew you weren't listening to this. You have until midnight to get me something or the deal's off. This is your final warning. The phone clicks off. Interior near the window, day. Marietta peers out the window, unable to see anything past the raging blizzard. The wind hisses at the glass. Interior, living room, desk, day. At the computer. She stares at the blank page. The cursor blinks. She pulls herself together and begins to type. A slight banging occurs from the room next door. She tries to focus. Her fingers tap the desk in agitation. The wind wails through the relatively quiet space. With the banging, there is a faint yell, like someone calling for help. This catches her attention, but the noise is soft and blends in with the cry of the wind. The slight banging and yell all quickly fade away. Marietta brings her attention back to the screen. She types. Moments later, a faucet drips in the kitchen. She tries to focus, but the sound clearly bothers her. Interior, kitchen, day. She turns the faucet knob both ways. A steady drip persists. A kitchen cloth hangs on a wall hook. She places the cloth under the drip. The noise stops. She is pleased with herself. The TV in the other room turns on. She turns, confused. One of the worst winter storms to date. Millions of homes have lost power this morning. Interior, living room, day. An old box TV with a VCR set. On the screen, a female news reporter with physical attributes similar to Marietta's reports live from a blizzard. As you can see, roads are nearly impassable as wind picks up and snow continues to fall at a rapid... Marietta turns the television off. She checks on the ladybug, still in the glass. Its eyes stare at her. She softly touches the glass with her finger. Interior, living room, desk, day. She gets comfortable. She starts to type. The TV turns on by itself. Hurricane force winds, and that's going to raise concerns for reduced visibility and power outages. Interior, living room, day. Marietta kneels in front of the TV. What makes this storm even more problematic is that this forecast is uniquely difficult to predict. She unplugs the TV but notices something odd. The prongs to the power cord bend like Play-Doh. She feels the prongs. She pokes the wall, which caves in like a sponge. She peels the switch plate off the wall. It detaches with ease. She bends the plate in her hand. The material like dough. Interior, living room, day. With a butter knife, Marietta scrapes the wall. The spongy substance peels off, but the wall has a mind of its own, instantly repairing itself. She digs at the wall, harder and faster. In the heat of the moment, she nicks her finger. A drop of blood spills from the cut. The kitchen faucet drips. Her attention diverts. Interior, kitchen, day. She is shocked to find that the cloth is back on the hook. 
She touches the cloth. She laughs a little, thinking she's losing her mind. Interior, bathroom, day. She pulls a bandage around her cut. She opens the mirror medicine cabinet and takes out a prescription pill bottle. She shuts the cabinet and sees her tired reflection. She doesn't look long. She twists the bottle open and takes a pill. Interior, kitchen, day. She pulls a greasy pizza box out from the refrigerator. Interior, living room, day. She lounges on the couch. Pizza box in front. Inside the drinking glass, the ladybug twitches its antennas. Marietta takes a bite from a slice and spits the food out. She is stunned to see the pizza is a weird clay substance. Interior, kitchen, day. She opens the refrigerator. It is all fake food. The milk, cheese, beer, none of it is real. She takes out the milk carton, analyzes it. She squishes the carton. It folds like Play-Doh. The TV switches on. Interior, living room, day. The same reporter on TV. The weather has intensified and the wind nearly blows her over, but she remains collected. Marietta observes the screen. With temperatures dropping below zero, staying inside could be the difference between life and death. The TV glitches and the reporter skips back. With temperatures dropping below zero, staying inside could be the difference between life and death. Curious, Marietta presses rewind on the VCR machine. The reporter moves backwards. Marietta presses pause, then eject. A tape comes out. It's labeled Snowstorm. She turns the tape over, confused. Interior near the window, day. She opens the window. Snow falls in. She scoops some snow into one hand, pinches a piece. The snow is rubber. The same banging noise from the other room starts again. She grabs a baseball bat from the corner, ready to fight. Interior, long hallway, day. She closes the door behind her, door number 333. The hallway is dark and eerie, rooms on both sides. The wood floors creak underneath her steps. She cautiously lingers to her neighbor's door. She knocks, no response. She knocks harder, nothing. She tries the knob and opens the door to her own place. Interior, living room, day. She steps inside her neighbor's place, a look of fear in her eyes. She drops the bat. Everything is the same. The ladybug flies around in the drinking glass. She moves toward the TV, notices something. She takes a closer look at the reporter. She backs up, terrified. The reporter is Marietta. We asked experts what items are essential to have in a state of emergency such as this. Blankets, a flashlight, and a radio were some of the items to top that list. An old radio turns on, playing La Java Bleue. Interior, living room, moments later. Marietta tries to turn the radio off, but the song continues to play. She throws the radio to the ground. The music stops for a moment, then the tune is back, seemingly indestructible. Interior, long hallway, day. She hurries down the hallway. La Java Bleu plays in the background. She tries a random door further down. Interior, living room, day. Again, the door opens to her flat. The TV plays. The radio is thrown on the ground, just how she left it. The ladybug buzzes and moves frantically in its enclosure. Interior, long hallway, day. She stumbles along, scared. She tries another door. Interior, living room, day. The same thing. All of the doors lead to her place. Interior, long hallway, day. A door at the end of the hallway. It faces her. She drifts toward the door, feels something different about this one. She approaches the door. Room number 313. She opens the door. Interior, dark living room, day. The door leads to her place, but unlike the other rooms, this one is dark and quiet. Marietta slowly steps inside. Natural light from the window directs her attention to the coffee table, where she finds the drinking glass turned over 
without a ladybug in sight. She hurries to investigate. She looks under the table and the couch. She tosses the pillows. For the first time, real fear ignites in her eyes. She retreats to the front door. She tries the knob. It's locked. She twists and pulls at the knob. She bangs on the door. Help! She bangs more. Someone, please help me! Interior, living room, day. The same scene in the beginning. The past version of Marietta is at her desk, trying to type. She hears the banging and the faint sound of someone crying. She stops typing. Interior, dark living room, day. The current version of Marietta bangs the door. Open the door! Please open the door! La Java Bleu creeps down the hall, getting louder. Interior, living room, day. The past version of Marietta listens to the faint sounds. Interior, dark living room, day. The current version of Marietta sets her head on the door, sobbing. She starts to give up. La Java Bleu loudly plays over her. Interior, living room, day. Slow zoom in to the back of past Marietta's head. As the camera gets close, she swivels her head to the door. Curious. Cut to black. <laughs> 